So guys, let's go ahead and attempt to draw Mr. Bean by using that head shape theory, okay? So I'll start here with my with my basic head shape. So I'll start kind of with the cheekbones here. And then I'm just gonna kind of make keep my shape kind of short. Okay. And then we're just gonna draw like a little neck here. Just like you see me do when you watch my videos, okay? Now, what I'm going to do, how long have I been drawing? Uh, I've been drawing since I was probably about, um, I would say, eight years old. So, eight, nine years old, uh, maybe even earlier than that. So, I, I know I have over 35 years of drawing experience. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the shape of my ears. Okay. And also important to remember, guys, it's all about the way you see the drawing. So whichever way it grabs you, you don't necessarily have to draw the ears before. You could you could make your whole shape if you see the ears, uh, a thing that doesn't stand out to you till last, you can do it that way, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the top part on the head, but I'm keeping in mind that I wanna keep my shape kinda short because if I go too long, it, it'll take away from the caricature, okay? So what I'll do here is I'll do something like this and I'm gonna look at the overall shape. So what is the overall doing? Well, kind of something like this. This is my overall shape. You see? Now, once I put my other line here, look, overall shapes. Okay. And now, all we have to do here you might put some little hairs that go that way or whatever. But you can see that we already drew the, sh the, the shape of our house. And now we're going to worry about doors and windows. Okay. So, let's see here. We want to get those eyebrows in so we don't get that expression. So, what's that expression that he has there? Something like this, maybe? You can see his eyebrows are way up there like this. So, I'm just going to try to mimic that a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna put Okay, cool. All right, now let's go ahead and draw those eyes real quick. So we're gonna go ahead and use this shape here. Okay, and then we'll put the separator lid over the eye like that. All right, and now we're gonna put the eyes here. So we'll make them, we wanna make those eyes small in the middle like this. Let's make them small. So to give it that effect like this, you know what I mean? Okay, then we'll put like a little line, little dot right here in the middle. Okay. And then I'm gonna put my little source of light here. And now let's go ahead guys and see if we can get that nose shape, okay? So when I, what I do with the nose is I start from the middle and I'll look at what that shape looks like. So if you follow my cursor, and maybe I can make this a little bit bigger. I think that's as big as it goes. But you can see that he has a kind of, he has a round nose, but it's kind of a long nose, like long round. So it looks like somebody kind of squeezed it like this a little bit. So I wanna shoot for that when I'm drawing my drawing, okay? So I'm gonna go something like this, right? And then you can see that it looks like somebody squeezed the ball in, and then now I can add my other shapes on the side like so okay real cool and now we'll just add our bridge of the nose it's kind of hard to define the bridge of the nose you don't want to use too many uh, hard lines there and then now all we have to do is draw the dominant lip first which you can see is going to be this lip here you see, that's the dominant lip. And then this one, I'm going to use a lighter line because it's kind of pushed back. Okay. And then now we'll just go ahead and do our smile lines here. And then we're going to add a little bit of a little depth and dimension here. Okay. Awesome. 
All right, now let's add Mr. Bean's tie right here. Okay. I know I'm running out of space over here. <laughs> Hey, thanks a lot, Enrique. Right on, man. Hey, welcome to the stream, by the way. Welcome to the stream. I got a, I got a, 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 a Guns and Roses. I want to do all of them all together in one picture. So that's going to be something uh, I've never attempted before, to do a whole band. So we're going to actually do that today, guys. So you guys definitely want to stick around here. Okay. And uh, looks like uh, we got a pretty good drawing here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring that drawing to life. And how are we gonna bring it to life? Well, we're gonna hook it up to some electricity. No, <laughs> messing with you. Okay, can you please do Deshaun Watson for one of your drawings? Ah, oh, Houston, Houston Texans, yes sir. I sure can do that for you. Let me write that down on my request list here. We got some requests coming in. I like it when the requests come in. Deshaun Watson. Okay. I'm getting ready for the art show. Okay. The art show right now. This is your third character. And I think this one. Oh, yeah. You know what? I don't know what it is, man. I think when people are watching, I do better. <laughs> I did one on... Um, I did one... A uh, two on you. I did one like a long time ago. But, you know, Mr. Beans are pretty cool. Can I draw DMX? What you really want for me? <laughs> yeah, I can do that for you. <laughs> All right. So let me go ahead and uh, darken these eyes in right here. Eyebrows. Yes, I'm going to darken those in. And then I'm going to come back with this gray here. So let's see what we can get going on here. All right. So Donatello. Man, Ray Mysterio. Man, I hadn't heard him in a long time either. Yeah, I got to write these down, man. Golly. So let me finish this drawing up, guys, because I know y'all wanna y'all wanna see them all. Okay, so let's do this here. Okay. And then I'm gonna draw this shape here. And I'm gonna do this shape here. And you see guys what I'm doing here is uh I'm making it look 3D for you. You see how it's starting to come out like real 3D-ish? Okay. All right. Add a little shade here. A little shade there. Mm-hmm. A little bit right here for you guys. And then we'll give him like his tweed jacket. You know, he got some... We got the tweed going on here. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then I just want to kind of go over his lines here. Okay. All right, guys. So it uh, looks like, man, that, that one came out really uh, pretty cool. So all we have to do now is just kind of do the eyes, okay? So uh, you guys give me a minute to uh, get out my black marker here. Now this, guys, is a black, uh, this is a marks a lot marker, okay? Oh, wait, wait, let me see. Let me stop real quick and get some of the questions that we have here. Okay, we already talked about DMX, got you. And I'm going to look back over all my comments when we finish. So if I don't get to your comment, then that's just, you know, I'm trying to. All right, let me see here. Uh, Ninja Turtles, hello. This is a smaller sheet of paper than previous. Oh yes, I started. I went with a smaller sheet of paper because uh, I had an epiphany one night, and uh, I started thinking that I was having to hang up about being having to draw on a bigger sheet of paper, feeling like I had more playground, so to speak. But then I found out that um, it's all about you know having a deeper understanding of what you're doing, and then you don't require as much space to do it in. So uh, that's what kind of happened to me on my time off. So uh, I'm always, every time I come back, I come back, I feel a little bit better. Okay. Um, how are you so good? Ah, uh, Mr. Ethan, welcome to the stream. Uh, first of all, thank you for saying that I'm good. <laughs> and uh, it's all good. 
And how did I get good? I, it's just a lot of practice, man. I, I practice, uh, I draw every day. So it's just a, it's something that I love to do. I have a, I have art in my heart. And uh, so I like to do it every day. Let me go ahead and do this here real quick. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of, I'm gonna show you guys how I do this real quick. I just take the hair and I do something like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna hit this up real quick. Okay, all right. And a little bit of, that's a little piece of hair right there. And then we'll come back over here. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, and now let's go ahead and get this other, my other marker out here. All right, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of shade right here. So you can see that really makes that neck come out. And then pretty much, guys, I think we got our drawing down to a science. We don't really have to do anything else. I might add a few lines here and there, but overall, I'm, uh, overall, I'm pretty pleased with the drawing, okay? So guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed that brief, uh, uh, quick demonstration of how to draw a cartoon of Mr. Bean. So we're gonna go ahead and do a, put his name here, even though everybody knows who that is. I heard he has a pretty hot cartoon right now. Let me see, Kate, maybe draw his bear. Uh, Mr. Bean, let me sign my work real quick. I didn't know he had a bear, but I don't know. Maybe in my next one, I'll maybe next time, I'll get his uh, his uh, his bear in there for you. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video tutorial. If you did, don't hesitate, guys, to go ahead and give us a like. Also, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notifications button. This way, when we put up new material, you'll be the first to know. If you have any questions about our markers or pens or paper, and you'd like to know where I get some of the materials that I use here on my art stream, there's a link in the description below, so you can go ahead and check that out as well. And also, guys, we'd like to welcome your questions and comments so that we can get some new ideas. You know, it's always good to have new, fresh ideas for our next and upcoming videos. Oh, and don't forget to check out these two super cool videos right here. So guys, thanks again for your love and support of our channel. You guys be safe out there. And as always, guys, I wish you happy cartooning.